it, um, that uh, that we didn't add it. So we created the device. Remember, we created a router in ServiceNow, but we did not assign an IP address. And behind the scenes, this this business flow was uh, was enabled. What this uh, flow is doing is it's essentially it's it's based on a, a trigger in in uh, in ServiceNow, which is saying, hey, if a not if a router is created and um, and it does not have an, an address, run this flow. And what this flow does is uh, does a number of things. The first things it, it does, it actually um, it actually uh, runs a subflow. So that we have a subflow that kind of encompasses the business logic of assigning IP addresses. In this case, what you you tell it what site you're in. So in this case, I told him I'm in Sydney, and what VLAN I want an IP address. In this case, I want 50 because I want I want an IP address from the network management VLAN, which is uh, you know statically set as 50 in all sites. And so in this case, I have a subflow that um, that uh, asks for an, uh, the next available IP address in that subnet. Uh, you could make whatever business logic kind of makes most sense to you. This is just for an example. I then update the, the record in, net, uh, in service now to reflect that IP address that was, um, that was just allocated. Uh, and then I, I keep going, I do a few more things. I actually, I wanna go find what is the device's management interface for the device I just created in Netbox. I want to assign that address to that interface. And then finally, I want to uh, define that as being the primary address for that device. And then at the end, I'm just logging a message to the logs in, uh, in ServiceNow so that you could follow along. So what does that look like? Well, when I go into, um, into my device, uh, so this is the device we created a few minutes ago, you'll see under more attributes, it actually has an IP address. And despite the fact that I never actually created one directly in service now, it was uh, the business flow that did that. And if I go look at the same router in uh, on Netbox, I can see it, the primary address for that device is set. And I can see that um, it's actually set against uh, one of these interfaces. And then I can go into and see that I'm in uh, VLAN 50 in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, sorry, VLAN 50 in the Sydney data center. And, um, and so all of that that was done automatically kind of uh, behind the scenes using uh, flows and integration. So in Flow Designer, I kind of showed you one example of a flow, but with the integration comes a number of actions. So actions being the most atomic thing uh, that you can interact with at uh, with, Net, with Netbox. You can think of them as essentially API calls, whether they be gets, posts, puts, or patches, depending on uh, on uh, what you want to do. So we, we provide a number of them, and this can, this can be extended. Uh, we have a number of example subflows. So these are the components that kind of their flows, they're more, they're, they build on the, on the atomic components, but they're reusable in flows so that you can build basic uh, logic that you can then reuse. Uh, so the, uh, as an example, again, uh, is this find next available IP by site and VLAN uh, subflow that was then used to build a business flow, um, which is the, uh, the example of, that we have uh, here, which is our assigning an IP address to an IP router. Um, and these could be these could be triggered by database triggers. These could be there's a number of different uh, ways of triggering these. They can be scheduled as well to to run at uh, predetermined uh, time. So that kind of uh, does a 